Okay guys, welcome back and today we're going to show you some poses you can do with the strap to help you open up the shoulders and the chest, lifting up the sternum as well as releasing some tension in the neck with the strap. So get ready, just do any light warm-ups and go ahead grab your strap and let's hop onto the mat. It's just standing up tall. We're gonna go into forward fold with a bind, so typically that's where we want to get into. But as of now, with tight shoulders, using the strap to help you to open up the front of the chest, the shoulders, and stretch the front of your body. We're gonna use the strap and just hold it roughly shoulder width apart. Come into your forward fold and try to bring the hands down to the front of the room. If the hamstrings are feeling tight, option to bend the knees so you can rest the belly towards the thighs and just go ahead and swing the arms front and back slowly with control, trying to lift the hands more to the front of the room. We'll do that for 10 to 20 reps. So the next one we're going to do is flossing. So we're going to roll and open up the shoulders and create some mobility. So you hold as far as you feel comfortable that you can keep the arms straight. You can bring the hands, the strap back and front without bending the arms. So find a comfortable length that works for you. It might take you a couple of rounds to figure out which length works. So once you find a length that works for you, just go ahead on the inhale to bring the arms back. Engage your core straight arms and exhale to come back don't swing the body keep the ribs in try not to pop the ribs neutral spine here as we keep flossing and opening up the shoulders here looking forward and do this for 10 to 20 reps that will help you to open up the shoulders increase the mobility and you can see my hips doesn't swing left to right so you actually try to explore more with a shorter length and if you feel that you're compromising or swinging the body, then just go back to the original length. So these are some simple shoulder openings you can do for mobility of the shoulders. Right, and the next thing we're gonna do is the cow face or gomukasana pose. So we're basically trying to clasp the fingertips behind opposite arm to opposite elbow and sometimes especially if the body has been still or stiff the whole day using a strap helps you to get there and you can work your way to grabbing the fingertips so we start on one side where we lift let's start with the right lift the right arm all the way up to the right shoulder blade and the left hand comes behind to meet at the right shoulder blade so by using the strap here, you can see that I'm not letting the right elbow drop forward. I'm lifting it up and pointing towards the sky, lifting the chest, not popping the ribs and not arching the back. You can take it a little bit further by coming into a forward fold, a seated forward fold here. And try to stay for 10 to 20 seconds and then you can switch sides. So this is really good to help you open up the chest, open up the armpit, the front of the body as well as create some shoulder mobility, squeezing the back of the shoulder blades together. So this would be what it looks like from the front. You can see that I'm not flaring my left elbow open and it's pointing up towards the ceiling or the sky. And I'm opening at the armpit and the chest and on the exhale come into a forward fold. You can stay there for 10 to 20 seconds. And if you have more time, you can try to stay longer and that gives you a deeper stretch. All right, now we've been stretching up the shoulders and a little bit of the shoulder blades, but now we want to open up and release some tension at our traps as well as the neck. And this is a really nice, simple relaxation stretch. So you're just going to loop one end of the strap into the rings and you're just going to sort of make a long sort of loop, enough to fit your body through. So make sure it's tight and it's firm before putting your body in. So you're going to place one part of it on the hand and the other part on the leg. So I'm going to show you in a lying down position. You're just going to strip, put one leg through at a time. So first I'm going to put the strap right behind my ear, roughly at a cap line, 
All right, I'm just going to lie down here and then I'm going to put the right leg through. Try to straighten leg as much as you can or option to bend it. Just find any comfortable way to get your body, your head and your leg through to the strap. So your opposite leg can be bent or straightened. Depends how it feels as long as you don't feel a pinch and an arch in your back and lower back is pressing firmly onto the mat. Try to keep that right leg as straight as you can and just letting the weight of the head drop back. And this gives you a nice gentle stretch. It's also considered a restorative pose that you can do the first thing in the morning or right before bed just to stretch the back of the neck, release any tension at the traps. So it's giving the leg a light gentle stretch here. After 20 to 30 seconds, you can go ahead and switch sides and we do the same thing. Just make sure the strap is tight here and it's not yanking too much on the back of your head. It's supposed to feel relaxing and not like you're trying to crunch yourself together. Just be mindful on the opposite leg. Option once again to keep it bent or straightened depending how the lower back is feeling. And once you're done, just release the strap. You can relax on the mat or the ground for a couple of seconds or just go straight into your shavasana if this is the end of your practice. And you know, it's considered a restorative sort of pose and it's really nice and slow and something to just take the mind off, release any tension. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Namaste and thanks for watching. See you next time.